we'll see how good a rebounding team do you think this could be? Well, 41 rebounds, I don't care what size they are, that's good. good. So we could be really good. Now, I thought we missed box outs a lot. I thought we didn't go to the boards as much as we should have. But it's, it's a great start. It's a great um, measuring stick for us. And we're going to have to do that. We're going to have to get rebounds. Holly, we saw during media day that Zay has just this infectious personality. Yeah. And she has all kinds of energy. Do you think uh, that energy translates directly into the way she plays? No uh, question. Or? No question. Um, she has a great spirit about her, and uh, she's that kid that that uh, energizes us. She can shoot the three. She can penetrate. She turns it over, but then she'll turn around and get it back. So those kind of players, when they they're conta it's contagious, and I thought that she blocked a shot and got all excited. I, I yeah, I love that. I love it. I, I, as long as it's not directed towards anybody, I don't think it was. But that energy and that excitement about blocking somebody's shot is huge for me. Okay, Coach. Obviously, you want to have a, an idea of your team's identity and where you're at going into the games, games like this. But how much do you learn about your team in the position, especially having so many young players and things? You, you learn different. Co well, I played a ton of combinations. Um, you you learn if they're going to fight when we're ahead. Are they going to stay focused? Are they going to do the things that we ask them to do? I didn't think there was a lot of off the script for us tonight. I thought we stuck to the game plan very well. So those type of and just playing against somebody different, not our guys, not each other, uh, and playing in the atmosphere of it. The freshmen were a little nervous when they came out, but, but then that went away. But we're going to take away. A, we're going to watch tape tomorrow. We'll take away a lot. Cassiano was in the starting lineup and she played 20 minutes. Just kind of how do you evaluate her play in this increased role? She is she's gotten more aggressive. She's stronger. She wants the basketball. Uh, I loved her stamina. She you know played 20 minutes and she was up and down. Cassie, you, you're seeing the result of someone who committed this summer into getting in shape, getting stronger, and getting in the gym and just doing reps over and over and over. I was, I was really pleased with Cassie and excited for her. Steve in the front row, then Dan Maria. The free throw shooting, was that just a one day bloop or has that been I, an issue during the preseason? Well, Dean's our free throw coach, so he, he's, <laughs> if he doesn't get any better, he's going to be let go. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a concern. I mean, we, we shoot them and, and free throw is focus and, and uh, it's muscle memory, and we've been shooting. We're going to shoot 500 free throws a week, and probably for the rest of the year. So, got to step, we got to step up to the line and, and make free throws. That's, that's about as much as I can say about it. We got to make free throws. Yeah. Holly, can you just talk about the overall tempo of this game? Right? If we get 95 shots, I mean, what do you have a goal in mind? you're going to play in terms of you know, stuff like that? Yeah, my goal is to turn people over and, and if, if you look Dan, we got we shot a better percentage from two point inside the three and a lot of those were attacking the basket and we have players to do that, getting sh shots in the paint, those are such better high percentage shots I thought we took a lot of probably ill-fated threes, especially when we're not, when we're 0 for 4, we may we may want to get inside the, the paint, get a, get a 2, but um, we want to get easy shots, and when we turn people over, we, we tend to get easier shots. Maria, uh, Two-player question. Sheridan Green, she hits that little jumper to open the game. She looks like a different player than last season. And then your freshman, Ray Burrell, 
She's just always around the ball. Can you just talk about Sharon Dean and Ray and their game tonight? Uh, you know, last year, Sharon Dean was put in a must, lot of must-need situations. She had to go in and we're down by five, and she had to get the rebound, and she had to do different things. And I think she's going in and, and as comfortable now. I, you'll see, to me, she's not as nervous with the basketball that's again. That's putting time into the gym. So, uh, Ray Burrell's one of those kids that wherever the ball is, she is. She's around, and um, she's physical. She's she's got a little toughness to her. A um, little worried about her fouling out possibly, but that's being. A, I'd rather be overly aggressive instead of me having to, you know, get her up, get up, and and um, Ray just makes things happen. Look down and you think Grace, you know, she, how she played and she had great rebounds, great drives. She just, she, she's a she battles. That's what I love about her. Do you have questions for Coach? Okay. Thank you. No, well, oh, Come on, Maria. Sorry, sorry. You're behind me. The, um, I was getting ready to leave. I was I, sweating. I, but I wanted to wait on your question. I appreciate that. It's, it's kind of a, it's, I want to ask about the DC patch. On, on the shooting church for Daedra. This is a young team, Sheridan, your senior, only been here two years. Do they understand the impact of Daedra? And then just talk about wearing that patch and, and missing Daedra this season. They do understand that. And the best way we knew how to, to honor Daedra was to put a patch there. And our, our kids have, we took the time and our kids learned the history of our program and they understand what Daedra did for this program. And, and and uh, the impact she made and won a couple of championships, weight trophy winner, and um, she, they understand she laid the groundwork for them to be afforded of, of what they get to experience right now. And, um, you know, Dangerous will always be missed. And actually, I think she was just inducted into the Detroit Hall of Fame, so really proud of her on that end. But, Dave is part of our history. We're not. We're never going to forget our history. We're going to. We're going to learn it. We're going to understand it. And we're going to hope that our history pushes us forward and that we represent this university as as people who came before them. So, thank you for asking. Thank you. Thank you. One more back. One. See what you started. You started. One more for me. Sorry. I just want to ask about all the players in double figures. You had eight out of ten players in double figures. Can we of, just erase Carson them and put whoever play and just just put whoever? And I'll take them all. Double figures. I love it. Is that kind of the identity you think of this year's team? Though I mean, Mimi Jackson even she could have easily been in there. But um, you know, is that kind of the identity of this year's team? Anybody can go off. This is a this is a very unselfish basketball team. And I, I I'd said earlier, and and um, this is a great example of our our togetherness, our, our tight-knit group, um, coaching each other, helping each other, excited about each other, and, and that's been a long time coming for, for me to see a group so passionate about each other's success. Um, so I, I, just, I just think they don't care who, who gets the credit, they just want to win the basketball game, and, and as a coach, that's what you want. You want to make sure that you won the basketball game and somebody's not upset that they didn't score uh, 20 points. We're just glad we won. Y'all sure? You're sure? All right. <laughs>